Welcome to Modern Homestead Alaska. I'm Jessica. Today we are out at our dairy heifer. She's still a heifer. She hasn't had a baby yet. But our dairy cow is a barn in order to actually do some finishes. We started building this barn last fall. We were in a huge rush and I think it took us six or seven days to get to the point that it's at where we could actually just house the cow for the winter. All summer the plan has been to get out here and finish it and here we are at the beginning of fall actually getting on it. I'm having some issues with a piece of the plywood that is on it here. Um, part of it is from not finishing the trimming and getting all the caulking and those different things done and I might need some of Aaron's help so I had intended to do this today. However, I think I can actually finish the back side of the barn myself, but in this video, we are hoping to get as far as we can in finishing this barn. Last fall, I was able to get one coat on all of the plywood, as well as all of the board and batten style trim boards up. And then here she has sat for the entire winter. All of the snow slides off the back and the front side. We clean up the front side, but the snow just kind of piles in the back. That does help a little bit with insulation so air is not coming up underneath it to the cow. But I think what I'll be able to do today is actually get this painted out. So our goal eventually would be to put metal siding um, over the, the wood. However, we can't afford that just yet. And so what we're doing is painting the board and batten style siding and it'll be really really pretty and the goal is white on white so white barn with white trim i do have the big two by six trim pieces i just need help cutting and installing them but i think i can get the rest of this done by myself in the next couple hours
have the whole back side of the barn done and I did get the two two by sixes in. You saw me install those. There's a really weird <laughs> wonky angle up here at the top where the roof will meet this piece of trim. Aaron has a special tool to cut things that aren't like typical 45, 90, whatever degree angles. And so um, I'll have to wait for him to do that piece for me. And then when he does, I'll be able to finish all of this. But what I thought I would do is move to the other side of the barn because for me to paint and get up here and finish this side, Aaron has to move the rabbit hutch. When he moves the rabbit hutch, we're gonna clean all of the compost the rabbits have gifted me <laughs> this summer towards the garden area. And so I'm just gonna leave this side for a minute and then see what I can get done. It's already four o'clock. This is hours and hours of work to just get the painting done. I found two things of white caulking for the outside. I thought I had like a whole five gallon bucket full, full of it for the barn because I would like to run caulking along each one of these. So if the camera's picking it up and it might not be, you may see like some darkness and it's where there's like flaws in this cheap wood that we nailed on. It makes it look good but there's flaws in it. On this wall, I ran beads of caulking down it and I have way less issues than the other side of the barn that I didn't do. And so I do need to get some of that before winter and just run the beads of caulking down. And then I didn't know if I wanted on the roof joists or whatever we're calling those. Um, I thought I might want to stain those the same color as the front of the barn that has uh, kind of the pressure treated wood. I thought that might look better than white. Um, anywho, that's where I'm at. So I'm going to move all my stuff to the other side of the barn and see what I can get finished today. So we're right at the 10 inch mark. In fact, what they are there no 11 and a half 10 11 that's funny this is probably one of the hardest things is remembering and figuring out what we had done originally, but we'll get to the bottom of it. So I managed to get the rest of the top trim and then all of the pieces to the corner done and in, and now it's raining <laughs> pretty good on me, even though it looks like the sun is going to come out. And so I'm going to, I have the tools in a wagon, so I'm going to pull those into the garage if it stops raining in a few minutes, I might finish tonight. If not, I will come back and finish tomorrow. So I need to run a top piece of trim. I do have that. I have the two by six, and then I have these boards here, and then it's every like so many on the top part. So I will either be back in the morning to finish this or um, I'll come back out in just a little bit, but for right now, it's dumping rain. Woohoo! I have help today. Ha <laughs> ha! So Aaron is here and he's going to help me at least get the trim that I don't know how to cut. I'm very capable of certain things, but also I, also, I know my limits. <laughs> the weird angle up there. Do, do, do. Whatever that is. I have no idea. I have, I don't know how to figure that out. I don't, I know my limits and I want the trim to look good when it finishes. So it is opening duck season. Him and Wyatt just got back from duck hunting. Wyatt is going to clean the ducks while Aaron comes and helps me trim this out. That way during the week, 
I can come and get stuff finished. So while I wait for him, I might as well move on with what I can do and I'm going to start some of the caulking. A chipping brush is not the right answer <laughs> to how to install caulking, but the rough exterior doesn't feel great on the finger, first of all. Second of all, that's super messy. And third, it just works to get it in the, the cracks and the crevices. We're gonna paint over it anyway. Chipping brush to the rescue. Push up. You flush? I'm flush. Nail it. Peach, stay in. I don't think that's the legal way. It's not. Hand me the level. <laughs> yeah. I did not buy 16 foot long <laughs> pieces of trim, which is what I needed. So we're just gonna have to sister two of them together or just extend the trim. Um, it turns out I can only put the 12 foot ones in my truck. Aaron will put a 16 footer in, in our truck when he's driving, but I was afraid. So anywho, I got the wrong boards, but we're gonna make it work the level on it and make sure but it's level enough for you may not dig out the foundation of the barn he says watch me yeah did you dig a hole put yourself right at the foot of that huh you're not in the way at all i see What? Look back at it. Look good? Turn it over. No, like flip the whole board around. Right there. Yeah, it actually trims out fine. I'll just paint it and it won't be it. You're right on it. Yeah, push it in. Once you push it in, it's fine. It's pushed in. It looks a little twisted. What's twisted? Nothing. Just push on the top of it like you had it earlier. There you go. Just push on it. There you go. It's good. Good. Real good. All right. I'll watch. I'll give you the nail gun and then watch her. Is she still coming? Of course she does. Of course she does. She says, give me some pets. Our little cow <laughs> wants to come out and play with us so bad. Nope, she's walked away now. She was trying to eat my shirt a second ago. Honey, that's short. Huh? That's short, three inches. I know, I did it on purpose. Oh, okay. Watch out, Bert. Go, move. Berto, I'm serious this time. You gotta move. You gotta go. Watch out, Bert. Well, thanks, Bert. I really appreciate the hole here. <laughs> Ugh, we got caulking everywhere. Push it to me. There you go. Don't read. 
reach. You're not good on ladders. Yeah, I know. And this has to be pushed up at the same time. You're not good on ladders. I'm not. You better be. Put one up there. Oh, you already marked it? So smart! I love you. You love me! I love you, Bert. You do love you. <laughs> On what days? On Tuesdays. On. <laughs> Assistant. What? <laughs> Come in. Oh, cow. Nice. Look at that. I had to go to the Home Depot this morning. I got a whole box here. This is an acrylic latex caulk plus silicone. It is 30 minute paint ready, water cleanup, 40 year. And then when you read the whole things, this one is paint, paintable. So some silicone you cannot paint. Like, and if you get the wrong one, then, and you put it on the wood first, and then you go to paint it, it always just kind of pulls off, and so the project would look awful. This should be enough to last not only this project, but some chicken coop stuff as well. Uh, windows, doors, molding, trim, baseboard, and then interior exterior which is important and then this was was the price that i could afford so um about three dollars a tube if you buy the big box it's three dollars instead of four dollars a piece so i'm going to finish this side and then we're also going to do some caulking on the back of it and then we're going to be done for right now because aaron and i were talking 
what we're gonna do is I'll start trimming this out, but Peaches broke off one of the doors. And then over winter, we couldn't open one of the doors because it's so nice to the ground, so tight. He built it so well that when she would pee or anything would get up against it, it would freeze. And here in Alaska, it doesn't defrost where you can open the door. So one set of doors was stuck shut all winter. And then the set of doors that is open, she loves to scratch on them. So we need to make her something to scratch on. And she ripped a door off. So we have a door plan. So that's gonna get fixed. And then the other two sides of the barn will get finished all before fall here. So enough talking, let's get back to work. I wanted to show you what a huge difference the caulking makes when you look down this, when you look down the side and all of it is filled in and then all of a sudden we're going to get right to where I haven't done it and the lighting might not be great, but when you can see all this looking down, look at all this looks terrible when you look back that way all of that has been done it's been caulked there might be a couple of flaws i do try and fill in the nail holes so that they're not rusting because that is not helpful but now this part that's been painted and everything done you see the shadow of the boards and it looks really really good and so I only have this little chunk of the caulking left. And then Aaron and I have to get two, two more two by sixes in order to finish this. One of them was so wonky and twisted that we ended up ripping that one off and we'll just use it as scrap wood for something around here. And then, um, we have to move the rabbit hutch. The rabbit hutch is right here. So we have to move the rabbit hutch, get all of the compost cleaned out from underneath it. Then I'll finish this side and the front of the barn later. But as soon as I get this caulking done, I am going to go get the paint on the other side. Whew, it is so beautiful and nice out that I am actually going to just work until it's done. I'm impressed. I just had talked to Aaron earlier about did I really want it to be white on white with white trim? Um, and what had happened, just like a little bit of backstory, is this blue metal online <laughs> looked the same color as our house and our coop and everything else. And it's not, it's several shades lighter than the other buildings. And what I was trying to do is kind of set the barn apart and be a white barn with the dark navy instead of being dark navy with white trim. So when we did, we had purchased and this was the roofing that was available and we got everything installed. 
I realized really quickly that if I trimmed this out with the same navy that's on the coop and the other buildings, it just would look weird. That color blue of the roof against the navy. And so I did the white on white, which I think is pretty fantastic, but not having been able to see the vision come together until now, I am right. <laughs> On the designs at least for my appeal my taste my design and what I like to see so I do like the look of all of it sure it would have been fantastic if we could have afforded better siding or different things but none of that actually matters right now I'm just really really happy with how this barn is actually coming together and something we've always dealt with is I get there's door issues. I get there's trim still needing to be done. We're going to bring a load of gravel in to help with the mud and the muck and the different things. And there's always work ahead of us, but to stand back and be really, really happy with, I love how it's turning out. And when the whole barn is this beautiful white on white with the blue and then the stained wood, that is at the front of the barn matches the garden which matches the porch which will match the decks on the house and so on everything kind of color wise stays in the same family but each building has its own individual uniqueness without being an overwhelming identical building to building so yeah all right that was a lot of spiel there at the end of the video Thank you for being with us. Thank you for sticking through all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have some other things coming up, but I wanted to break it up just a little bit and do an outside project, not just cooking, preserving, canning, although we have plenty of that with the garden and stuff that is left to do. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, you'll get notification, thumbs up, and comments all help our channel to grow. Peaches! Peaches! I hope you're blessed. I hope you find something to be grateful for, and I hope I see you in the next video. I have to go deal with this cow now. Yes. What were you thinking? Hi, pretty girl.